In the Gospel today, we hear from St. John's Gospel, Jesus said to Nicodemus, Yes, God loves the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. I don't know if you've noticed, but at certain events, particularly major sporting events, there's often a sign held up in the crowd, 316, sometimes John 316. And those figures and those signs refer to that passage that we've just heard, those words that Jesus speaks to Nicodemus when he comes to him by night. Yes, God loves the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost that may have eternal life. Those words and those signs are being used to show to the world and to encourage the world to reflect on that love of God, to reflect on that offering of his son, to reflect on the light that that son brings into our lives and into our world. As we begin to step out into the world, as we begin to move forward from lockdown and begin to have the chance to re-engage with shops and hospitality venues, to sit and have conversations and coffee with others, as we gather in our groups of six in the churchyard and chat away, so we can begin to look afresh at the world around us, to look at ourselves and our communities Look at how we relate to one another and how we best use the gifts that God has given us. We have a choice as to how we do that looking. We can look in the way that the world looks. We can look as we would look through the sins of darkness to highlight the negatives, to highlight the fears, to draw attention to the selfishness and the greed that we may begin to see around us as people put their need to shop beyond the well-being of others. But we could look at it through the eyes of God, to look at it as the way that he looks at the world with that love that means he gave his only son. We could look around us and seek to see it in the light of Christ, that light of the risen Christ, which is symbolized in our Paschal candle in our churches, a light that shines in the darkness, a light that never drenches. If we look at the world through those eyes of love, if we look at the world through those eyes of God, if we look at the world in that light of Christ, then we can begin to rejoice at what we see, the signs of his presence, the signs of his presence in those we meet with and talk to, the signs of his presence in those that offer care and support to others, the signs of his presence and that love expressed in all those many volunteers who support us in so many ways as we go for our vaccinations, continuing to support those who are isolated at home. We can see it in the lives of our communities as we rejoice together in our opportunity to share friendship and to build relationships afresh with one another. So perhaps today reflect on 316. And whenever you see that sign, whenever you see those numbers held aloft, reflect on what it means that God loves the world so much that he gave his only son. And pray that we may look at the world, we may look at ourselves and one another, with that same love and in that same light that the sun brings to us.